back. Did you um, have a productive day? Yeah, I would say so. Uh, I bought this stupid little fucking, uh, you know, I lost those keys, right? Yeah. So I bought this little GPS tag that you hook up to your keychain. Okay, I know those, yeah. The and it'll, you know, it'll go off if you're, you know, it'll, it'll tell you where your keys are at. You can look it up at any time. Yeah. The only problem is, is that if the, uh, if the app ever loses the signal to the device, it sends off an alert. So, of course, I was in the middle of a fucking meeting today, and that damn thing <laughs> started going off, and I couldn't fucking turn it off. And my, the guy who runs our agency is like, yeah, it's O'Shane all the, over there. You know, he always wants attention. <laughs> And I was like, son of a bitch. And I'm sitting there, and people are laughing, you know, and I'm like, like trying to turn it off. I, I had to just shut the whole phone off because the stupid wait, thing. Wait, wait. When you say that dude, do you mean that dude that's trying to, that thing that's at the same level with you or under you or over you? This guy runs the agency. Oh, oh, so. It was late? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I got nothing for you this, Shane. He, he, he runs the damn place, Shane. I ain't got nothing for you, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it was a good laugh. He's a cool guy. It was a good laugh. You know? <laughs> who are you laughing at? Do you know who I am? I'm Shane Rollins of the Beef Beefing Show. <laughs> no, I, I just went with it. and I, I just kept my mouth shut and was like, stupid thing, you know? And I'm sitting there panicking, trying to get it shut off. And then, uh, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? How would you like the locations that sh uh, Gabriel sent us? I like that rusty bridge. He sent me a couple other ones I didn't bother sending to y'all. Um, but the rusty bridge was the best one. I like it. You you know, I was gonna say like, man, we can tag that up, but I don't want to do graffiti. How about we just use we use white chalk and just tag it up ourselves a little bit? Yeah. Um. So in the script, uh, like the last scene, does Daniel still have that old, or is that old Dodge Neon still around? Oh hell no! That, that thing's way. It's probably in a cube right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> So they don't. Not, it's not like sitting in somebody's yard or something. No, 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 no. Why? What we need? A, what we need an old car for? Well, because we could do the. I was thinking about ways to do the movie, mm -hmm. and I thought it would be cool if we did it with a uh, an old school VHS camera. Okay. And we we said it was like in the '90s is when this happened, before cell phones, and. I could just, but to do that, you would have to have a car from that time period. Harley's mom's car might still work. It's so. an old uh, Mercedes or BMW. Oh, okay. We might have Carly help then. But yeah, I'm thinking about that. It's just an idea because I still have a camera. I still have a VHS camera here. Mm -hmm. That one that we use to film Corn Kernel and Impact. I still, I still have that damn thing. Still works. I mean, I got to charge the battery, but if the battery charges, yeah. A well, little can air through it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to wipe off the lens a little bit. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only other option is, is we, you know, after spring break, if, uh, or when we get ready to start filming, we just get a new camera. Mm -hmm. just go buy a digital camera. Um, they're not too expensive. I, I thought you were going to do that. I thought it was based on. This era, like, oh no, this is 2019. You know, that's when that's why it looks better. And you got this guy just trying to do uh, some supernatural stuff. Yeah, I thought, I thought that's what you meant you were doing. Yeah, and I mean, that can work too. It's just, I was just trying to think of ideas. But if we can't get an old car, we're going to have to do it modern era, anyways. I, and, I know uh, she didn't, uh, you didn't uh, compliment my haircut, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that uh, earlier. You had posted something. I'm pretty sure. You thought, well, I don't care. That's why I didn't say nothing, right? <laughs> is, that, is that what's going through your head? I said, oh, he finally got his hair cut. <laughs> all right, great. Good to go. You like it? Yeah, it's all, it's all right, you know. I yeah. just want something cut so my hair's not dripping sweat down into my shirt, you know. Yeah. You get that sweat that goes down your back, like into your crack? You ever get that? Yeah, yeah. It's that freaking high side, you know. That's the bad sweat. That's when you know it's getting rough, especially if it's running streams. So what do you think about uh, tagging up with ourselves with the uh, uh, chalk? Chalk, right. you can't say it's your feed because it's going to wash away in the rain and the wind, so it's going to go away. You know, I don't want to, you know, like I said, I don't yeah. want to uh, break the law by tagging this thing up. Yeah, if somebody wants to tag it up with chalk, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's just, you know, the time-consuming part of it. Um, no, 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 not all of it. Just put, like, uh, put like stupid little things on, like, 
big beef it on there. And, okay, yeah, yeah. You know, start, you know, names and stuff, you know, people like that. So I was thinking about what Aaron was saying about where I fall down a fucking hill and the theme music's playing. I thought that could that could probably work at the very end of the movie. Like after everything's done. So the last guy's walking away. Yeah, like I'm I'm like every, everything's done and then it cuts to like a field by the creek and then I'm walking down a hill and I fucking trip and fall. Yeah, Oh, you mean that dramatic thing when the camera flips and faces you? You're in the creek. Face yeah. Down. And the the music's just da -da 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 like just right on me as I'm laying in the water. <laughs> so you're drowning, right? You're in the water. Yeah. Or you're drowning. Because uh, I tripped and fell, and I guess I knocked myself out. So you're gonna die? Yeah, I guess so. My character's dead. So no one, so no one lives in this movie. Uh, we don't. We uh, no. I think uh, I think the script has one survivor. The rest of them weren't found. Yeah. I love yeah. things like that. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, whatever. It should be a good time. It's fun for all. Yeah, I, liked, I, just... I was scared. I was scared we were going to pick somewhere that, like, the bridge is all riggedy. The wood's falling apart. You know, someone's going to hurt themselves. That one, nice and flat, concrete. Uh, the, the road's right there. It's not hard to get down to. Just a little slope down into it. It's going to be dark. So no one's going to see the road. Perfect. People think we're out in the middle of nowhere. Good. Yeah, the uh, the witch is going to hook me up with some info on on stuff so we can make it things look authentic. Mm. Make it look so, real. You mean like words and stuff? Like, tell you like, what to say and shit like yeah. that? Yeah, when we're trying to... Because I, I got the script written, but she could probably some, make something a little bit more authentic. The, you say authentic. Make sure you... you, you you know, water at the jail. Some of these old dirty crew. Do some supernatural shit out there and not know it. No, she said do it exactly like this. What would this do? Oh, this is gonna summon shit. No, no. Why are this shit down? We're not summoning nothing out here in the middle of Rome, Texas. <laughs> Just wanted to be authentic, right? Yeah, like, well, like oh, I'm about to do the spell shit. Yeah, you're actually doing a spell right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. We'll see. I still got some work to do. I gotta. Rearrange some things. I got to get the cast, you know, the core people that are going to be involved. Well, that's why I said, like, you got a year. You got a whole year, nice year to plan out everything. You yeah. Know? Yep. Yeah. I thought, like I was saying, I hear Shane's heart pumping right now. Here's a bridge. Oh, man, he's pumping right now. He's pumping yeah. every day about this. No, well, I mean, it was really start. Like, I wrote, I didn't give much thought to it till Gabriel sent that theme. And I was like, oh, he's taking this seriously. Like, he really wants to do this. And I'm thinking, well, shit, let's get it going. We got the story. It's a unique. Uh, man, I hope, I hope they do the film festival. Or if not, shit. Send other fucking film festivals. You yeah, know? there'll be yeah. other ones that we can compete in. And I think this one, if we do it right, we can actually get in this time. Instead of getting rejected immediately. But it's, but it's 10 minutes though, right? It has to be at least 10 minutes. Uh, minimum 10 minutes or maximum 10 minutes? Well, we'll have to see. And we'll just cut out. I, I have enough in the script where I can cut things out to make it work. Mm -hmm. um, I think the, uh, just make, they say that one page of script equals one minute of screen time. Script's about 22 pages, so about 22 minutes. And we could probably trim the fat on some of that because a lot of it, uh, there's a good chunk of it where we're just interviewing random people of the public and they're talking about the creek, you know, and what they know, stuff like that. Did, speaking of uh, plays now, do you see uh, the performance of uh, Aaron a little bit on the... Uh-uh. Was it on there? He posted some of it, yeah. So How'd it go? Up. It's up there. You know. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> it's up there. It's, all, it's not bad. You know, I watched a little bit of it. I got busy because the boy started acting up. And uh, I watched some, like, okay, you know, it's, it's you know, it's bleh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> it's kid-friendly. Yeah. By far, it's kid-friendly. The jokes are a little, eh, eh. <laughs> You know, I mean, I guess because it's not dirty jackass jokes, but the jokes are okay for a kid, so. Well, it's like I told you, that lady, uh, you know, she's old school. With the, with the jokes? Yeah. Like, like I said, it wasn't horrible, but definitely. You know, yeah, I'm not, I guess I'm not seeing it yet. It's not, um, Aaron had to post it up on that, uh, the ladies page or something. I saw, I saw a little bit of it, so. Hope they didn't take it down already, but yeah, I, I didn't saw Aaron see over there, and the, Aaron was sitting down using a hammer. You know, say so he said some joke about a pie. I'm like, okay, <laughs> so let me see. Shelly O'Neill. 
it's the play. Yeah. Do you see it, babe? Um, I've been skipping over that shit. Skipping over it? Not not important to Sarah, apparently. <laughs> I saw the uh, the post. I didn't click. I didn't click play. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much what you just said. Uh, let me see. Trying to find it. I know Dale's pretty excited about making a movie. I don't know if you have a you have a spot for Daniel. I know Dale probably like I said Dale can play a hick. I can just see Dale just jumping outside the window. What are y'all doing out here? <laughs> Well, I think, yeah, I haven't decided what I'm going to have Daniel do. Um, I'm not quite sure yet, but I'll have him do something. Um, so, so, to get it down right now, all you have right now is me, Aaron, Daniel, you, and Gabriel. Yeah, that's the core group, but I mean, I've I got some others that I think will, uh, that will be down. Oh, Jacob said he would help. And if Jacob will do it, I'm sure Eddie will. Kill Chris? What? Yeah. yeah. I'm pretty sure I didn't say his last name, but, you know, there it yeah. is. Yeah, no, well, he said he doesn't mind us using his name. He just wants to make sure we're using things in a proper context. And, and okay, not, not like Mr. Black. Oh, because apparently we quit lying about Mr. Black. That's how we're dealing yeah. with lying about yeah. him. Yeah, I had, I had lunch with uh, Jake today, and we were talking about it. And he actually had some pretty good ideas. He actually had some good ideas about the podcast. What did he say? Well, he said what we can do is, um, he said we should take snippets from what Aaron has said before and criticize it. Like, play it back on the podcast so everybody can listen to what he says. And then be like, okay, this is where I got bored. Or this is <laughs> and I was like, that's, that's fucking genius. Why didn't I think of that? You know, that's, and, and he even mentioned we like, we go on to Aaron's podcast and steal shit that he said and, and, and then confront him with it. It's like, Aaron, why'd you ask this old man this? And then play it. Or, you know, when he was on The Witch, take parts of her podcast and say, Aaron, explain this shit. You know, is this true? What's she saying? Oh, that's going to get him riled up real quick. Oh, is, is it all is about the roast Aaron hour now? Is that what we're going to do? The roast Aaron hour? Well, that's what Jake said. Jake said it was, uh, he said Aaron is, he said he's, he's like the high points of the show and he's the low points. Like, sometimes it's the funniest shit. It's because of Aaron. But the most boring of shit is also because of Aaron. So you can't, you know, there's no middle ground. What do you say? What do you say about me? What do you say? Oh, they said you're funny. They like you. They like, oh, you. They like how you, uh, you kind of take things by the reins. If, we're, if we got guests or somebody coming in, just kind of keeping us on, you know, talking about stuff that's kind of like in the realm of topics instead of I just try. going off on a tangent. Because I could fucking go off on tangents all night long. <laughs> Yeah. I see you do it. Yeah, I can just go off. Fucking girl at work. She yeah. can't do no direction. Like, all right, yeah. Shay, we were, we were talking about uh, Aquaman, but hey, let's, let's talk yeah. about this girl. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Yeah, so uh, anyways, um, he mentioned that. He had another good idea, too. I can't remember what it was, though. I'll have to talk to him about it again. But that was one of them. Um, oh, he said that... Um, he said what we need to do is I need to cut a new intro to put on the older episodes mm -hmm. because he said that a lot of people, when they listen to a podcast, they're like, oh, this is interesting. Let me go back and start at the beginning to try to get, read the, listen to them all. <laughs> well, when they go back to our first ones, they sucked. Okay. And, and it's not that they sucked because of the content. I mean, yeah, we didn't really know what we were doing and we didn't have things down, but it really is the audio quality that kills it for a lot of people. So he said that maybe just cut a little intro, and on all those old videos for the first hundred episodes, we just say something like, "Hey, please excuse the bad audio. If this, if you find this frustrating, go ahead and skip to episode one hundred. We fix all the issues. You shouldn't have any problems after that." Okay. Okay. Uh, it's actually more like episode one twenty because that's when we went to Skype. But um, how's, I mean, our I, views, yeah. how's our views doing on YouTube? Oh, we're actually doing okay. Um, I think the at, first video got 17 views. At some point, we're going to actually do some show stuff start, and start talking. About, that's what Dave argues about all the time. Like, why are you talking about the show? On the show. Yeah, <laughs> that's it's what, pretty bad. Uh, we're pretty bad about that. The, the fans are probably thinking, okay. Yeah, it's got 19, 19 views so far. How many? 19. On uh, which one? The first one, so that's a, that's in a week. 
Um, we're at, trying to see how much money we got. Uh, $6.69. All right. Okay. Audience is staying good. We haven't dipped it back in. We went, we've been st steady at our audience number. So we're not losing anybody, but we're not gaining people either. So I don't know what we got to do to start gaining people. Start making stickers, making, like I said, start making, um, well, we see Short the problem. Sale. I think the problem is I don't think I don't know if Anchor's not putting us where our audience is. I think they're having a hard time categorizing us. Um, so I really just need to work on my tags. When I did that barbershop chick, that was one of our most popular episodes, and I think it was just because of the tags I used. Unless she told all of her friends to listen. Oh, uh, met up with her. They had lunch or something. And yeah, they're supposed to be going. She's supposed to be going to watch his play. Um. Yeah, what were the tags I used? I used comedy, acting, hair, Bronx, and boogie. Because the whole boogers in his nose or mouth thing. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So, so that. So, with that being said, like when I put in like my tag big beef in, is it only doing beef? Only doing big then? It's not putting them together. No, is it should be doing big beefing. That's how I tag it on YouTube. But so, it. but but in one word though, right? Yeah. So if you go to YouTube, if you type in Big Beefing on YouTube, it's going to pull up my channel. Well, Daniel still says, what is that? Like, Daniel, says, Daniel still says, we need to blow up that symbol. Well, yeah, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't messed with made. it. I haven't, I haven't, I just, uh, and I don't even know if I'm going to keep that damn thing. Well, I'm thinking I'm more switched towards like, um, like something that's kind of like a inflatable text that looks like a puffy big text, mm -hmm. something like that. I'll just put that in there. Oh, uh, you going to? Are you going to go to the state fair this year? Uh, we might. I don't know. Well, I, well, I don't know how Sarah's going to be with walking around. You know, Be hot, pregnant. pregnant uh, hot. Celia texted me. She goes, 19 degrees at the state fair." I'm like, "Man, it's going to be fucking cold." No, she goes, "No, the band, the band, 19, 19 degrees. Like, never heard of that." She goes, and she finally put, "No, 98 degrees is going to be at the state fair this year." Like, oh. You need to work on your text. You need to work on that stuff. <laughs> like, I'm sure I, she appreciates that. I don't know what she was saying. So that's uh, Nick Cliche, right? Oh, Isn't yeah. That? Yeah. And usually with big bands, like, but, well, you know, big bands. They, like they that work. come, you know, they, they pack out like that morning and people just sit there yeah. in front of stage all day. Yeah, I, I was there all day. our senior year in high school. Um, we were there and Destiny Child was playing. And I mean, wow, it like, really? It was like an ocean of people. And this is when like Destiny's Child was new, uh -huh. you know, it's like their first or second year. And uh, I mean, it was like just a largest group of people I've ever seen. I mean, really? it's just, it just bodies as far as the eye could see. Filled up that whole fucking pavilion area, the whole damn thing. Shit. From the stage all the way back to Big Tex. Nothing what but. Was the, what was the biggest concert you ever been to? Yeah, what was the best concert you've been to? Well, I've only been to two real concerts. Like, there was that one at the State Fair. I wouldn't really count that as a concert. Okay. I mean, I was there, and they were singing music. Um, when I was a kid, we went to a Billy Graham uh, Christian rock concert. <laughs> yeah. It's that, you know, there's music and there's dancing, but there's also a sermon at the end of it, you know, where, come on down, tonight's the night. We want to save 1,000 lives or something, you know, like that. Um, and then... The other, me, Sarah, uh, Aaron, and Tabitha, we went to um, a Disturbed concert. Oh, shit. Now, when we go into the, when I, when, when Sarah, because Sarah was wanting to go to a concert. I'm kind of like, I've heard all their songs, but hey, if we're, we want to do it, let's just do it. So, Sarah, you know, because we go to the gun range, she's got some styrofoam earplugs. So, I've always heard that rock concerts damage your eardrums. So I was like, well, fuck, I don't want to have my ears ringing. I'm already, I can't understand what people are saying half the time anyways. <laughs> so let me, uh, I'm going to take my earplugs and put them in. And so we're driving in the car. Sarah's like, why, why do you have those? And I'm like, because it's going to be loud. And she was like, you're not going to need them. And I'm like, well, I'm just going to have them just in case. So we go out there. And uh, it was Breaking Benjamin was on first. They were the warm-up band. Uh -huh. And they get on there with Diary of Jane, and it's just, they pull back. I mean the fucking the everything's shaking. It's so loud with the guitar, and I mean the, the speakers. You can see the fucking speakers are the size of people. 
You know, they're huge yeah. ass speakers all over the fucking place. So I'm just like, I got my earphones in and I'm fine. Sarah's just over there, you know. And I was like, oh, you need an earplug? And thankfully I had an extra one, um, but I had to tear it in half so she could have two. Um, so she, she could have your one of your full ones? No. We're not sharing, no, not I sharing can't that. Care, John. I, I got laughed at for my preparation. I got laughed at. I got ridiculed. Why, oh. why would I, you know? If she, if she if she knew, then she should know. She already knew. So why, why do I need to do anything? She knows. <laughs> but what good am I going to do? It's like, uh, what were we doing? We went to we went to a family thing for Easter down at Lake Halbert one year. Uh, uh, on the way, I stopped at Dollar General, and Sarah's like, "What are you doing?" And I was like, "I'm getting sunscreen." And she's like, "You're not going to need it." And I'm like, "If I'm outside more than thirty minutes, I'm going to burn." So I'm getting sunscreen. Sure enough, John, I get that sunscreen, put it on, no problems. We start driving home, Sarah's fucking bright red, lit up, like a fucking firecracker. I mean, just beach red. I mean, just red and burn as hell. And I'm just sitting there like, yeah, how's that seatbelt feel? Running across your burnt shoulder, <laughs> you know? Seems... You're, you're all about that, uh, that night just a little bit deeper, aren't you? Hey, you make your bed, you lie in it, right? I mean, it's her bed. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Um, I, I just know because I got burned a lot when I was a kid, and I don't want to get burned anymore. It so, hurts. Like it, hurts. Uh, it hurts, man. Yeah. I mean, I, you remember that one time I got sunburned so bad I had that blister on my back that bust while I was at yeah. work? Yeah. Fucking it's nasty. Like, like the pouring all down my shirt. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty bad. I'm like, what the fuck is this, man? Yeah. The blister popped, and uh, it was kind of yellowy and pussy. And that was just from... That's just from being outside, John. That wasn't anything special. That wasn't fire on me or an electrical wire. I was just standing outside. I, I'm surprised that the fans haven't said nothing yet about you two. Like, man, look at this guy's collection behind him. You know what? The, now that I look at it, the only thing you're missing is landscaping behind each each uh, figures. Yeah, so I have some of that with some of them. Like, uh, you know, see, like, that's all I mean. Like, you need some. Like a city background behind them. Yeah, I see that. Great. Yeah, you got one right there behind it. You know. Yeah, behind the Ninja Turtles. Yeah. Got yeah. That, that's we got one. Uh, my Mezco stuff. They got the Christian Bell Batman behind them. At my old place, I used to have everybody had a little insert, and I have inserts here to put behind them. I just haven't had the time to cut them up and, and put them back there. But yeah, I'll probably do that at some point soon. Yeah, people don't understand. Like that's time consuming. With a forty hour, forty hour, wait, what is it? Forty hour week job. Well, and and you have to take, you know, you got your piece of paper, and you got to put stickies on each corner, and then you got to remove all the figures, put it back there, you know, get it firm so it's straight, and then put all the figures back. And this, you know, I mean, it's row after row of action figures, so it would take a long time to do. People don't understand that. They don't understand. Like you said, forty hour week, uh, kid, pregnant wife. Take yeah. care of a house, try to do a podcast, uh, try yeah. to do a secondary job. You know, they don't know the yeah. struggle. Yeah, I'll be putting in five hours this weekend. For the uh, the second job? Yeah, it's um so this one it's a it's a um it's a it's a girl and she's six and it's with her grandma. And I called the mom today and said, Hey, I'm I'm gonna be doing the visit. And she was like, Oh, uh I didn't know that they had males. I thought they were gonna get us a female. And I'm like, well, yeah, I'm like, well, I, you know, I, it's part of the program and I'm, I'm the, I'm the one that volunteered for it. And she was like, well, she has a problem being around men. Like we were at the dentist the other day and when the, de when the nurse left and the dentist came in, she jumped in my lap and wouldn't get out no matter what we said. And I'm like, okay, um, well, I mean, I can ask my program manager if, if they want to switch, but. You know, maybe we maybe we just try to see if this will work. And I talked her into, you know, making it work. But she sent a letter to my program manager asking for a woman. But my manager didn't say nothing. So I'm going to show up Saturday, get my money from the grandma. And if the visit doesn't work, I'm going to be like, oh, I tried. But, you know, but I'm still going to get paid. <laughs> I get paid up front, not after. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, you know, it's 225 bucks. I mean, I want my money. You know, and uh, but I'm, I'm sorry, a, 
Yeah, you're not worth your zap, but I get paid. I don't, I don't care what y'all say. Well, I, I, I told the mom to like reassure. Her. I was like, look. You know, I'm somebody that follows the rules. I've been in government work for 10 years. If if that grandma does something crazy or off the books, I'm going to report it. It's it's going to it's going to be stopped. And you don't have to worry about that. And I said maybe what we'll do is I'll get there a little early and just try to build a rapport with the kiddo. You know, tell her that I got some nieces and stuff like that and see what she's interested in. Oh, okay, try to play that ball. Yeah, and if it yeah, and it's just your age and you know and if we get out the car and she's like, I don't want to go. And I'm not going to force her, you know. To say it's, it's not going to work. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, well. Not going to work, not going to work. Oh, well. I'll sure be fine. I, you know. Yeah. I mean, you, you know. Sure, sometimes, yeah, you, overall, you want to get paid. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Sure well, see, I, I want to make it work because I want the money. And, um, you know, and this is a, it's an easy it's one day and you're done. You know, I don't, I don't have to do any more for the rest of the week. I can just do that one. And it's, you know, I'm hoping that the grandma has to just go watch a movie. If we went and watched two movies and had dinner, we're done. You know, I don't know if that's what's going to happen, but that would be the best way to deal with it. Um, Y'all are sitting in a hot ass park while they're trying to conversate. Well, we're going to the mall. We're going to the mall. So, okay. Which Should mall? Be Parks Mall. Okay. But the grandma I mentioned something about getting on the skating rink. I don't know about all that shit, John. I don't know if I'm gonna be getting on that rink. Do you have to be that close to him? You have to be I, I can't. I can't. So if grandma gets on the skating rink and she's with the kid, I got to get out there, or I got to tell grandma you can't go. I have to make that decision. Um, I don't know how to skate, so I would have to say I'm probably gonna have to tell grandma like, look, uh, I, I don't know how to do this, so I can't be close to you guys. So it's not going to work um, unless unless I get out there and and y'all stay around me and I'm, you know, fucking just with my shoes on, just scooting across the ice, trying not to fall and bust my ass. Just um, break out your badge, Shane Rollins. I got, I'm, I'm watching these two. Yeah, well, yeah, they would, I mean, you know. But I think what we'll do is just, uh, you know, if she wants to do that, I say, hey, I'm okay with the kiddo going out on the ice, but I don't know what to do and – I, I gotta be in. I gotta be around you guys. I can't let you go on the other side of the rink, and I can't hear what y'all are saying. You know, and I'm not gonna fucking run around the rink trying to listen to them while they're out there. You know, <laughs> like, that's not gonna work. This like this one family. This one family, the dad and the kid, got in the pool. Well, I got in the pool too because I could go where they were at. Like I could be there with them, and I didn't. I didn't as long as I didn't go underwater, it was fine. I just you know stayed above the water. Listen to them, watched them. You know, I was right there. But the ice rink, that's different. So, you know, grandma's just going to have to realize, you know, look, you know, that's just not going to work. So, did you, uh, did you buy in game yet? No, I don't know when I'm going to get in game. It might be a while. We're kind of, we're kind of under budget constraints right now at the Rollins house because of the, the baby and all that stuff. I understand, I understand that. Doctors' visits, co pays. Yeah, we chilling. Shit, yeah. that's all it is right now too. At Pimentel House, it's yeah, just magic money till we come because hey, they're they're medicating the hell out of Sarah because they don't want her cervix shrinking up. Uh huh. And this is right where we're at right now is where we started having problems with Roger, mm -hmm. and uh, so they're extra cautious now and they really want to keep her medicated, so we don't have any problems. At least you have, at least now they have something to build on. You know, yeah. like okay. You know, we can take more care at this time. So at least that's, that's a good thing, at least. You know? Yeah, no, the doctor's been watching it closely, and he's very happy with the results of using the meds. But that's it's because they started the meds early. You know, and the last time around, they they didn't give her the shots that she was having to rub the stuff, and it it's not as good as the shots were. Mm -hmm. So it didn't really, it wasn't that effective. I mean, it helped, but it wasn't effective as what we're doing now. I went ahead, I was going to wait until I went ahead and said, yeah, you know, go ahead and buy it now, because I really wanted to. Been wanting to watch it like, like you know, like last month. We we're fucking waiting to watch it, so I finally got it. Watched it. Jonathan watched a little bit with me, but you know he got bored because you know, t you know, ninety percent of the movie there's nothing going on yeah. until the very end. So oh, Captain America says, "Avengers, assemble." Why does he whisper it? Avengers, like <laughs> what the fuck is that? Because he's angry, John. He's pissed off. But why does he whisper it? Why, you know, if, if he didn't start the fight, Thor had to do it. 
Yeah. You know, he, all he did was scream because he got several. Like, no, not everyone has a mic in the ear. No one knows what he just said. <laughs> so. Right. right. Nobody really heard him. Yeah. So I'm like, what? Look at that. So that was like under. I don't know. Like I said, that, that seemed. He should have been screaming that. Then what Thor screamed. Was, then where, everyone charged. Where defenders. Where was Luke Cage and Daredevil and Iron Fist and Jessica Jones? Shit. They don't know what was going on at that time. Yeah, out of the loop, huh? Unimportant. So, and that, and probably that, is that when they came back, I want to say maybe 15, 10 to 15, 20 minutes, Dust Strange's like, all right, we're back. Hey, right now, 20 minutes. I need everyone to go right now, ready to get into this. Like, no, don't, don't matter. We got to go. We have to go right now. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know if they knew that it had been five years, right? Didn't they? Didn't... On, only, uh, only Doctor Strange knew. That's what he said. He took uh, Doctor Strange told me it's been five years. No, no, no time for that. No catch up. We gotta go. <laughs> yeah. We gotta go ride the fucking battle, guys, right now. Right. <laughs> that's what so. I seen with the uh, Wakanda and the uh, a lot of the uh, the sorcerers. All right, y'all back. Welcome back. We gotta go. <laughs> we got fight to go to. Yeah. I hope you all rested up. But yeah. you know, I was happy. I was happy with it. You know, all the sorcerers, the Wakandans, the, the Asgardians. Uh, you know the other heroes, and um, well, who else was there? Um, well, they had Spider Man. Yeah, you know the other heroes. Yeah, looks like they had some of. Uh, there had to be some Shield guys, some old Shield guys, or something, because there was like there was non. It wasn't Wakanda military stuff. So I would, I would been. It probably been a little cool if Nick Fury and and uh, Hill would have been right there. That would been cool. They they they've been right there with like a big ass guns. That would been cool. Have, have like a heli carrier fly in, you know? Like, yeah, that would been awesome. A little hair, yeah, hell yeah, that would be cool. With yeah. heli carrier, that would been real cool. Just find yeah. the fuck out, yeah, that'd been real cool. <laughs> I would yeah. like that, but. But uh, cool. are you interested in any of the upcoming Marvel movies that they announced? Yeah, I th- yeah, yeah. You know, I want to see how uh, Sam does as Captain America. I want to, I, we're going to get to Disney Plus because I got to watch the Man, I got to watch the Mandalorians. I got to watch the Winter Soldier and Falcon and, Scar, and the Scarlet Witch and Vision. Um, I got to watch those, you know, to see what happens. So, so I, if, if, if all else fell, I, I was really interested in was what if. Those, oh, the what ifs, what, what ifs they're going to do? There's tons of well, what ifs they can do. They didn't mention anything about the X Men or the Fantastic Four. So. I don't know if they're not going to do them or what. What if, like Aaron's stupid? What ifs are free money to them? That's free fucking money. Yep. You know, you make a what if. There has to be no before, no after. Just yep. there, free money. You know, that's all that right. is. It doesn't tie into shit. Yep. That's free fucking yep. money. You know, <laughs> it's, it's basically like, uh, well, that's what uh, DC's doing now with their stuff. They're making like the Joker doesn't tie into anything. It's an Elseworlds story. Yeah. Well, they can do whatever they want. And Marvel can do the same thing. If they want to, what if Iron Man had lived? Or what if uh, what if uh, Steve Rogers became Thor? What if, uh, you know, he could do all kinds of stuff? Now, I don't know how I feel about the whole Nat- Natalie Portman Natalie Portman becoming the new Thor. They were rumoring that something, she's going to hold the hammer next. Yeah. Yeah, well, in the comic books, uh, the uh, that character took over for Thor. And he went on to like take Odin's spot, um, or if it was it Thor the Unworthy or something like that? He had to he had to go through some trials or something, so she had to take over while he was doing this. Oh, Side note, real quick, I didn't really believe Dan when he said they were making the real Stormbreaker until I was looking on um, Instagram today, and there it was. You can buy the crack shield of um, Captain America right below it. Big ass fucking box for a Stormbreaker. Big, I mean, big ass looking box. And there's Stormbreaker right there. Like, just like Dale says, actual fucking size of Stormbreaker. I was like, fuck, man. Like, that's easily $500, probably. Well, John, all you got to do once you get that bad boy is buy your Thor costume and head out to oh, a car. Uh, I can wear, I can be fat now. Put on the sweats, shoes, little, uh, rope, boom. You're gonna, you're gonna do the big Lebowski Thor. You're gonna go in yeah. like that. That's easy. To, that's, that's what everybody's doing. Probably yeah. the easiest fucking Thor you can do now. <laughs> if anything, I got to gain weight. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. I saw a lot of people doing the, the big Lebowski Thor now. And 
it's, it's funny. It is funny. So, um, so I think I don't think it's looking good for Star Wars right now, John. No, they, I think it's no, not I'll, looking I'll, good. The the toys. They came out with a, like a. They kind of redid some of the toys that were popular when they first came back, and like they're just sitting on the shelves. They're not moving. Nobody's buying this. I, I would say Shane, they need to scrap everything to start over. Just yeah, you finish the series up, scrap it all. Fire the director, fire the producers, fire them all. Get get someone else. You know that's, that's probably what they're gonna fucking do anyway. That's what Disney yeah. does. Not making money. You're fucking fire. <laughs> that's how Nobody's they do it. Nobody's buying that shit. <laughs> Nobody's buying anything. I mean. I, I go into every time I go in there. I, I mean, with Darth Maul when he first came out, like you know, six years ago, you couldn't find Darth Maul, sold out instantly. But now every Walmart I go into, there's a Darth Maul. Yeah, Darth Maul. There's a there's a Luke. I mean, I, I, I did see that 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 uh, Lightning Toys made the uh, the Black Ranger with the um the armor. The yeah, Green, you remember the episode where the Green Ranger gives the Black Ranger his armor. And they're making that one with the armor. You know, I was like, shit, got to have that one. <laughs> yeah. I was talking to um, to Devin this weekend um, about our the Power Rangers challenge. Uh-huh. And he's like, he told me, he said, well, if you watch first season, you're probably going to be entertained. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he was like, it's not that bad. And I'm like, you've lost your damn mind. See? See? There's no way I'm going to be entertained. I've seen some of it. Like, I, I went back and watched the... Uh, the first movie a couple years ago, and I was like, what the fuck, man? How did I like this? <laughs> so, how long was the Green Ranger saga? Like, six episodes? Yeah, I think Five? it was in the season one. And I'm trying to, let me see. And how many did I say you got to watch? Five? You said first season. First season, you, you got recordings of watching the first season. Oh, like I said, the first season is pretty good. I liked it. It's pretty good. I think you probably like more the Green Ranger saga when that comes through, but they had like I mean I like a lot of the villains. They took their time making the costumes for the villains. They look pretty cool. Well, the problem with that series is, even as a kid, you could tell that the stuff in America was new film. The stuff from Japan was like ten years old. Mm-hmm. I mean, you could just tell. Yeah. Yeah. But, but. Fuck something up. No, my 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 charger came on loose. Oh. Well, I don't want to lose power in the middle of the damn podcast. I hear. That. So, how many Power Rangers do you toys do your own? What kind of figures you have? I uh, I just got um here. I'll show them to you. I got the I got the um I got the whole set of the reboot series. I got all those figures. Toward the Toys R Us exclusive ones. I got all those. And I want to say I have the first series also of the Power Rangers. I got to pull those out because I don't know which ones I have anymore. I don't know if I have the Green Ranger or not. Yeah. Me know I got this one. Hell yeah, man. The White Ranger. It's the Hasbro one. What's... I got uh, that Lord Zed. I uh, spray painted his staff to make it look more metallic-like. Okay. I got... Uh, the Bandai White Ranger. What the uh, just a little more shinier, right? Yeah, he's taller. I got a uh, Bandai Green Ranger. What the with his sword? I mean, with his flute, with flute and sword, or just yeah, the flute? he's got the dagger right here. He he didn't come with the uh, the dark saber. No. Oh yeah, I don't know where it's at though. It's it's up there somewhere. Okay. I got a. Uh, and of course, I got all the the rest of them. I got the Bandai, uh, the whole whole team. With with weapons or no weapons? No weapons. So that's that's they. So I give it to them. They're they're fucking good. The first series they put out, no weapons. The second series, oh, these guys got weapons. I'm like, yeah. fuck y'all, man. <laughs> and not only did they give them weapons, they made their armor like all shiny and stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, damn it, like. Congratulations, I got me, you know. This was the hardest one to find. That took me forever to find her. Yeah, yeah, the other one was hard to find. Did you, did you know in Japan this was a guy? Yeah. It didn't have boobs. It was it's just a little guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was, you know, people don't 
realize that they watch the series, like, you know, you look real close. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why he didn't wear a skirt. Has, like, Pink Ranger has a skirt, you know, and this one doesn't. So, that should be your first clue. But, yeah, it was kind of weird how in the in the first season of the Power Rangers, the black guy was the Black Ranger, the girl was the Pink Ranger, the Native American guy was the Red Ranger, the 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 Asian chick was the Yellow Ranger. I, I still remember when we were at that con, and uh, David Frank, some guy says, "Hey, you ever notice how the Green Ranger, you know, the the pink was a girl and the black was a black." I remember he just put his head down like, "Guys, guys, I didn't, I didn't write the stuff." You know, they. You remember he just, he he just sagged his head like, come, guys, come on, guys, I didn't do this. You know, like he was trying to blow it off, but you know, still trying to be honest. Like, guys, I didn't, I didn't direct this, I didn't cast these guys. Yeah, you know, the other people did it. I came in. You know, it, you you don't want to say this anyway. You know, we got you know, it is what it is. You know, they're like, oh, you're Irish, you're gonna be the Green Ranger. Yeah, so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, but I do remember that one guy, Shane. People think we're lying about him. No, there was a guy that stood up and said, "How did you play the flute through the helmet?" Yeah, and uh, that had the look on 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 uh, JDF. Was, yeah, the look on his face was like, "What? No, no, I didn't. I I just I just held it in. I, I moved my fingers." Yeah, the guy. Oh. oh. And this was a sit the fuck down. <laughs> mind you, this was a grown man. Yes. Uh, and he was uh dorky looking as fucking hell. And you know, man, I could see why he was getting fed up with those damn Q and A's because it was just some of the stupidest shit. You know? Ask some real fucking questions, man. You know? I remember that one I remember two of them that were good. Like uh one guy goes, We well, fired a fireball one time, like Fire, fireball like yeah you shot you you know you shot a green fireball and the guy's like you, you know i do know guys they took product from over there and brought it over here so it's half the stuff that was on there i didn't really do that was only on there oh oh like, yeah you know and the other one was was a young man he was dressed up as a green ranger he goes well i want to be a star like you sir how do i do that and and his answer to him was straight out you need to get where it's at you need to leave texas and get to hollywood and get and start and get going you're not yeah. gonna do nothing right here you gotta get over there where the action is and the guy's like oh oh okay you know like here tell him like it is you know yeah well and also he he waited to pick that person till last because he wanted the other guy to get some questions and he knew the Green Ranger, the guy dressed up like the Green Ranger was going to ask a Green Ranger question. Mm -hmm. So he's like, I'm picking that fucker last. So he'd be like, anybody else out there? Anybody? And you could just see him, me, me, me. And anybody else? Anybody else got a question? Anybody? Me, 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 me. And he, I said, okay, uh, not, not a question for me, guys. Anybody not have a question for me? Not for me. No questions for me. Questions for the other guy. And that hey. Green Ranger dude was like, me, 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 me. Like, you didn't give a fuck. He was going to get called on regardless. The, the the and the other gentleman that we're talking about, his name was um oh he was just at the Power Ranger convention. He played the voice of Godar. The, um, Let me look it up real quick. That was him. I'm like, oh, you played like no, he didn't act Godar. He played the voice of Godar. So I'm like, oh okay, you know, like eh, voice actor, voice actor. You know, I I think uh, no, I said voice actor. Mm -hmm. You know, like, <laughs> you can say about that. You, Godard never made no voice. His mouth just went up and down. That's all he did. So. I like Goldar's design, though, but they made him a fucking idiot. Yeah. There, there was sometimes Goldar shine, and he's like, oh, shit, Goldar's pretty, pretty badass. And there's other times, you know. It was uh, Kerrigan Mahan. Yes. I hope so. That's it. Yeah, that guy. Bald, kind of bald guy. Yeah, White there's guy. him. It was either him or Michael Sorich, one of those two. And I remember he was kind of bald and, mm -hmm. you know, and I was like, yeah, you know, that's cool, but, you know. So Lord apparently Zed. Lord Zed was an original character. Like, he wasn't made, he wasn't from the Japanese show. Uh-huh. So that's interesting. Well, 
the, the, the bad thing about that is, too, you know, good and bad, I guess, depending who you are, is that, that the actor died. So that oh. Lord Zed figure actually became a little popular and a little hard to find after that. Yeah. That actor died. So when that happened, you know how it goes. It, it shot up a little bit, so. Yeah. But, I started yeah. reading the uh, the Akira comic book today. How'd that go? It's pretty good. It's um, It's not as violent as the cartoon is. Like right off the bat, yeah. and it's violent, but like in the first ten minutes of that cartoon, like there's this guy running in front of the soldiers, and they just fucking light his ass up. I mean, they just and like you see blood and everything falling, and you see him and just his body getting fucked up. But and that's not in the book. Like that scene is in the book, but it doesn't happen that way. So I don't know. It's a little little bit more low key in the comic book, I guess. I guess they had to spice it up for the cartoon. Yeah, you always got to spice it up for the cartoon. I'm trying to decide. I really like that Hush cartoon, though. I thought that one was good. Like I said, that's... Um, uh, I don't want to say that they haven't watched it yet. They were spoiled it for Daniel. You know? Yeah. But, but that I'm twist... Surprised and... he didn't see it. I'm surprised he didn't see it like when it came out on digital. Daniel usually watches everything day one. Yeah. No, I mean, Daniel usually watches everything day negative 30 because he pirates the shit. <laughs> so. Hey, I'm just not for pirating a lot, you guys. I'm sorry. I know people are like, oh, y'all wasting money making a rich man richer. Well, I just don't like pirating. I, you know. I was, I was, I was, I was, I was all for like Napster and all that shit back then. I even wrote our congressman, the only letter I've ever written to a congressman saying, please keep Napster because that's how I got all my music. And, uh, you know, but when I read that there was actually laws on the books that says you're not supposed to do that, I mean, they were written 100 years ago, but they still apply. And I was like, oh, so it actually is a crime. It's, there's already laws against it. I didn't realize that. I thought it was just a new technology and the government hadn't caught up. But once I realized that it was actually against the law, I was like, oh, OK, that's why people are so pissed about it. I don't still for it. I know Michael is all for it. Michael pirates the shit out of everything. Well, and that's why the product, you know, has gotten kind of worse. Like, because uh, actors don't make as much money, and neither do musicians, especially musicians. The only way they make money is by going to concerts. And the only way actors make any money is if they have like a big summer blockbuster superhero movie or a CGI cartoon. Or unless you're The Rock and. Anything he puts his name on just fucking sells at the door. But, you know, eventually he's going to hit a roadblock. If he doesn't come out with some movies that start doing well, you know, like get some, earning some money, they're going to stop putting him in stuff. Yeah, man, that, but he is, I mean, like, if people worked as hard as The Rock did trying to put his name in everything. Yeah. Like, shit, man, like, he, that man is always fucking working his name in everything. He's probably one of the, one of the rare exceptions. Like, he's one of the last, like, you know, Hollywood superstars. Like, you know how, like, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger used to be and mm -hmm. Sylvester Stallone and uh, uh, Tom Cruise? Like, they were just in a different world. Like, uh, I think I talked about this on the podcast before, but you know, do you remember that movie The Jackal with Bruce Willis? Yes. So there was an interview because um, Jack Black was in that movie. You remember Jack Black? Yeah. Fat little guy. Well, yeah, I know. From yeah, he Bruce played Rock. like... He was selling the guy guns or some kind of computer monitoring equipment so he could fire the gun remotely. And they were getting ready to shoot one of the scenes. And the director said, hey, we're going to take a break for lunch. So Jack Black goes back to his trailer. And, you know, he's waiting. And uh, about three hours go by. And he goes up to the director. And he's like, hey, uh, I just want to make sure. I didn't miss anything. Are we, are we about to shoot? And the director said, no, uh, Bruce is still at lunch. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, do we know when he's going to be back? And they said, ah, oh, probably another hour or so. And they said, oh, well, where'd he go? And he's like, well, he got this uh, craving for some food at this restaurant in Paris. So he jumped on a plane and fucking flew to Paris. They were filming the movie in the United States. But Bruce Willis is so fucking rich and on such a different level. For him, going to, going to a restaurant in Paris is like me and you going to uh, 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 Abuelos. It's the same damn thing. But for him, it's going to Paris and fucking jet. Going just, just faster than the speed of sound. Just, just fuck it. I'm going to go, you know, 
Just a normal day. Yeah, because on the Concorde, back in those days when the Concorde flew, you could get to Europe in about two and a half hours, flying at the speed of sound. It'd fly you up into the atmosphere and then come back down, and you'd be in Europe. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, well, they don't do it anymore. They discontinued it. It's too expensive. Is it? Super expensive, yeah, because those jets are fucking hauling. I mean, <laughs> you've got, you got to have some money to get on a Concorde. It was for... Serious businessmen only. Like it wasn't. It wasn't a fuck around. Anybody can get on this flight. You had to get somewhere in a hurry. Yeah. <laughs> like right now. Yeah. You needed like at this big board meeting, and you got to get there. You got to go meet with these Asian investors or something, and they need you in person. You get on the Concorde, get your ass to Europe now. Like right now, like you need to be there in five hours. Okay. Yep. I'll be there in two. <laughs> get on that new bitch, and you're going faster than the speed of sound. Fuck, man. I couldn't imagine. Fuck. Fuck that. I'm going to look that up later. Concord. Yes, Concord. It doesn't... They stopped doing it. Um, I don't know if any of the other new airlines picked up the slack or anything, but they don't do the Concord anymore. Yeah, fuck that. So, yeah, I guess you can... I like that movie, that movie The Jackal. I like that one a lot, though. It was a good movie. I like it. Yeah, it was good. I, it I, kind I, of sucks, though, that he didn't get what he... He didn't complete his mission or whatever. He got interrupted. But. Well, and that dude, like he pretend, like like so, was Bruce Willis' character gay, or was he pretending to be gay to get into that house? Or I don't know, it's kind of gay. Uh, you know, like man, is he, is he gay, or is he pretending? So he, you know, no one's looking for a gay guy, you know, in the city already. Have you watched any of the new season of Young Justice yet? No, I ain't got a chance to. I think we we'll try to. Well, we were watching today, and there's a scene where Aqualad is helping this chick who got new like uh ocean powers like she can only breathe in the water now and so he's like trying to help her get used to living in the ocean and um when she leaves she gives him a kiss because she was so thankful mm-hmm. and you know he didn't stop her he just went right into it as soon as she left uh one of the atlantean guys i think it was garfield i don't or, or uh one of the atlantean guys i can't remember which one comes over and starts making out with with aqualad and you just let him do it. And I was like, oh, okay, I guess he just goes both ways. He just likes... Uh, what? Yeah, he he, go, he does both. All right, well... You're in, the, you're in the Atlantean. I guess maybe it doesn't apply. Maybe it's different rules down there. Uh, you know, I guess how you you appeal to the new audience, I guess, too, you know. Well, you know, on those, on the on the DC shows, every single DC show has at least one gay character every single one of them the flash arrow black lightning legends of tomorrow titans doom patrol swamp thing every single one of them a supergirl they all have a gay character batwoman the batwoman character is going to be gay really yeah but she was gay. Probably. Well, Captain Marvel's going to be gay. She's been pushing him to have to make her a lesbian. She's been pushing her. Yeah, there was a comic book I read when Carol Danvers, before she became Captain Marvel, she was wanting to date. And so she's like looking at the other Avengers like, you know, who would I date? She's like, Captain America, but he's kind of old fashioned. And then she was looking at Thor and she's like, Thor seems like he'd be fun. And I was like, oh shit, she's going to hook up with Thor. But she ended up like chickening out when she went up to him. And he turned around, and he's like, oh, young Danvers. You know, and she's like, eh, it's not going to work. <laughs> so maybe she just went, decided to go to the other team. Oh, well. I, 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 the what? Let's say Wonder Woman's like that. Wonder Woman plays both sides. What? Oh, she did. Never mind. She did. She did. I was, I was um, uh, going back to Hush. I'm like, oh, Batman just. Here I am. Fuck it. Here, here I am. Yeah. Well, I thought they were going to do like because the last, uh, the big storyline with Batman last year, he married Catwoman, mm-hmm. and I thought, oh, maybe this, he's going to propose. And he's like, no. He he was just like, uh, I could have saved that guy, and you stopped me, you dumb bitch. And she's like, I saved your life, man. Like, man, ungrateful son of a man, ungrateful. Just he's like, why you stop? I saved him, and she's like, no, you would have died. And he's like, yeah, but you fucked with my world. And what, what did I tell you? He always pulls that line. Yeah. I killed him. I've become dead. I'm like, ah, there it is. There it is. I knew it. He had to say yep. it. I knew it. He said the damn line. Yeah. 
Uh, but I, I like that one. I liked him and Catwoman working well together. I, I thought that was cool. That watching them fight, the way they but paired. It did, it did seem kind of downhill ish when he revealed who he was. It didn't seem like. Well, it wasn't the hard ass Batman anymore. He was like, uh, it was like how Batman used to be when it's Batman and Robin. That's kind of like the whole point. That's why they have Dick Grayson in the story because mm -hmm. they're like, this is how it used to be. Like Catwoman's making him feel young again because he he finds somebody that he's actually interested in. I and I I put like in my own mind, I put two and two together. Like when, when she's saying like, you're not gonna stop until this kills you, and then he keeps saying, Robin, Red Robin. Uh, Red Robin, Nightwing, uh, Batgirl, they're not all ready. I think in my mind, like, okay, they'll be ready when he dies. When someone actually murders Batman, they'll go ahead that, you know, that epiphany, like, oh, fuck, you know, this is what he's been waiting for. You know, now I, I, I'm in that mindset of Batman. You know, that's what I think now. Yeah, there was a good year there where Dick Grayson took over. Him and Damien. It was, yeah, it was Damien. You know, he was gone, right? When, uh, and that, and that when Batman, Superman, and Wonder Woman went off to train. Yeah. For a year. Yeah, they were gone. Yep. Mm -hmm. To where did he go to? Paradise Island. Yeah, I noticed they just wanted to take a break or whatever. Because Batman had, uh, they thought he was dead, but he really had, uh, he found some way to beat death where he could unlock his consciousness into a, a suspended state, and but he he relived his life through time. But then they brought him back, and then he's like, I'm going to take a break. Dick, you got this. And, uh, oh, hi, babe. Hi. <laughs> Sarah chose to come up here tonight. She usually stays down there in the bed and falls asleep by the time I get back down there. But uh, she she toughed it out tonight. Well, that's good. That's good. So. I'm trying to see what else you got behind you. Who is that red guy behind you? Is that Red Skull? Behind, right behind you? Where are we at? No, right behind you. Like where I think that's um Salma Grundy is. Oh, uh, we got Deathstroke, Red Hood. Okay. Two Face. I like the Red Hood with the cloak, with the with the overcoat. You uh, know, and the. Oh, there goes Deathstroke. Yeah, well, I, yeah. So. I like that one with the hood. I like that one. The leather it's jacket. It's the best one they've done. Huh? I think this is one of the best ones they've done. Well, which one was that one from? Arkham, Arkham Knight. Yeah, the game. I like that one. I like the suit and the helmet and the jacket. You know, I guess he just kept it low key. Like, okay, I don't need nothing fancy. Give me some nice pants, leather jacket, body armor, and helmet. Let's go. <laughs> well, I've always thought it was interesting that he chose to do the red hood, considering how that was a lot of you know that was part of Joker's origin story. I, I try to figure. I'm sure there's a Someone, someone talks about why he took that character, but like, you hate the Joker that much, but you took a character that he invented. I, I think it's know. just he it was trying to rub some salt in the wound for Batman, like how he couldn't protect. True, his, I could, I could see that. I and if you remember, at, at the end of the Red Hood story arc, you know, Jason's like, he's like, I understand you couldn't save me. I get that, and I get that you had to move on. He was like, but why is this piece of shit still alive? And Batman said the same line that you just said. Is that if I kill him, I'll come then. <laughs> I can't cross that line. But he, he killed me. Yeah, still. Yeah. I, that, you know, code, got, that code got, can't be broken. Got, like, God dang, man. Got man. I beat the, you know what? I beat the shit out of him, though. I beat the shit out of him. I can't kill him, though. <laughs> I broke every bone in his body. <laughs> well, you would think. One thing that's, that's weird to me is why wouldn't the police just kill him? You know, they just just out of nowhere, like, all right, we got him. Okay, nobody's around. Batman left. Bam! Oh, he had a gun. The last minute came out of nowhere, and nobody. That, that is interesting. You would think an officer would just do that because Batman always leaves him like conveniently, you know, at, at nowhere, no one around. You know, I mean, how easy it is for people to die. I don't see what the uh, what the problem is. I mean, so cops kill hundreds of people every day. So is that character dead now after after Hush? Is that character gone or oh uh, magically survived somehow? Like they always in the do. comic book, Tommy, it was in the comic book. Well, first of all, I'm mean, getting spoilers. Daniel, if you haven't watched this yet, you probably need to stop. Um, so in the comic book, it was Tommy Elliot. It was the doctor, the the brain surgeon. His his friend. It was his yeah, friend. and I, knew, I thought it was too. Like, oh, it's his friend. 
Yeah. It's well, that's what Sarah said at the back. And I was like, oh, I can't give it away. But then I was wrong because it wasn't him. Um, but he, Batman was able to save his life. He survived. He just put him in Arkham once he figured out who it was. But it took him a little while to figure it out. So, so is, is this a twist that, the, 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 that DC made? Is that supposed to be him? Be- yeah. They, made it, the, the, they, did, they do this in the cartoon sometimes because they don't want people to predict what will happen. So they try to change it up a little bit. They did that with uh, Gotham by Gaslight. The yep. one where it's like uh, Sherlock Holmes, Batman, he's fighting Jack the Ripper. Uh-huh. They made Jack... Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you, but... No, I you, saw it. Okay, so they made Jack the Ripper Commissioner Gordon. Yeah. It wasn't like that originally. Originally, it was just Jack the Ripper. And it was just Jack the Ripper. But this one they made, it was Commissioner Gordon was Jack the Ripper. So, that was pretty spoilers, cool. Sorry, late spoilers for everybody if, you know, no one wanted to hear that. Well, oh, I mean, it's not for a while, you know. You know, it's not for a while, so... Well, we fit our hour mark tonight, John. We made it. Already? Yes, sir. Already. Time flies when you're having fun, boy. Hell yeah. Time flies. You know. Well, Friday, uh, I'm going to try to see if I can get Jacob on here. Uh, who knows? Maybe he will. Maybe he won't. Um, I tell you, people get shy. When they talk about doing they get shy on us real quick. No, and Jacob will do it. It's shy, you, know. Of, you know, you got to download the app. You got to put it on your phone. You got to get ad. It's not as simple as me just calling you. you yeah. Know? You got to get the app. Yeah, it's it a pain in the butt. And you got to find a fantastic background to have behind you, I guess, sometimes. Yep. But, so, yeah. anyways, boy, I guess we're going to wrap this one up. We're going to hear from Jay Pizzle tomorrow. Oh, yeah. It's going to be hot tomorrow. Oh, yeah. yeah. I like the one you were doing the other day where you're like, it's fucking hot. I don't know what else to say. I got nothing for you. I'm just fucking hot. <laughs> got nothing. I got nothing. I'm just, just fucking hot. hot. Home, man. So. Anyways, uh, Jay Pizzle at JP's What. We're at B Beefing at Big Beefing. I'm not going to mention the other two because they weren't here tonight. So fuck that. <laughs> they can join in another time. Um, we are working on a, a Big Beefing. Oh, and that's another thing, John. I'm going to, um, since, we're, we're, since we're being serious about this, and I haven't told Sarah yet, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to incorporate Big Beefing. I'm going to make it a, I'm going to get us the, um, the shit that you need for your uh, business, your corporation. Uh, LLC, Limited Liability Corporation. I'm going to make Big Beef an actual trademark. Oh, company. shit. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It's easy to do. And How I'm, much is it? I'm pretty sure no other company has the name Big Beef. It's like 50 bucks. You just do a little filing. You file your name. Bam, trademarked. And now you're an LLC. You got to have a little charter. Our charter is we're, we're entertainment. And uh, once we do that, when I make the film and enter into the film festival... I could put Big Beef in Productions at the start of the movie. Hmm. I like that. I like yeah. Let me know how that goes. I like that. I like yeah. that. So oh, it's, okay, cool. gonna be a, it's gonna be a, a surprise when it's done, but okay. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Awesome. So. I like that. I think that's cool. I like that. I, I'm pretty, like I said, I'm I'm never seen the name Big Beef in anywhere, so I'm pretty sure that's pretty locked down. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna have a problem getting that business title approved. So okay. <laughs> but, All right, boy. All right. You have a good one. Let's get ready for the weekend. Have a good night. All right. Have a good one. (laughs) Bye.